Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and today to take a closer look at the new Minix Neo G50 C4 which is their brand new mini computer. Also a new remote control targeted at Windows mini computers and Windows computers in general which is the W2 and also something curious which is the new Minix M.2 SSD. And we are back. So starting to look at the new G50 C4, uh, which has the same enclosure as the N42C that we have seen a few months ago. And if I put it just side by side, we'll see that the enclosure is the same, really well built plastic, great construction, same connectivity and so on and so forth. So no difference right over here. And to be honest, the only way that we can differentiate one to another is if we watch the sticker at the bottom. So for those of you guys that haven't watched my review on the N42C, I will leave a link down below as well so that you can make some comparisons, check the prices of both these machines because they are similar, not the same, but similar and make your decision. Now looking at it in terms of connectivity on the left hand side, we'll have three USB 3.0 ports and the power button at the front we will have the indication led and then on the right hand side the Cassington lock and finally at the back we will have the main connectivity a power input jack gigabit ethernet mini display port HDMI USB type C and article out and one of the interesting features that we've seen on the N42C in the past is that it's a mini computer capable of driving three displays and the same happens with the uh, new G50 C4 we can drive three displays up to 4k at 60 hertz which is great for productivity in terms of specifications, it's running the latest Intel quad-core design for this kind of computer, the Pentium Silver G505 at 1.5 GHz, 4 GB of RAM, which are upgradable to 16 GB, 32 GB of flash storage that we can upgrade with any M.2 SSD. All we need to do is to remove the bottom cover and then insert the M.2 SSD and that's it. And the M.2 SSD that I've got on my hands, it's not mandatory if you want to upgrade of course, but it's designed by Minix. I already tested it out and I'll show you guys the numbers and so on and so forth. But the main advantage that I see on this SSD, which is targeted at this machine, is that it comes already with the Windows 10 Pro pre-installed. So for those of you that don't want to mess around with cloning your system to an M.2 SSD and so on and so forth, this might be a good option. But of course, depending on your case scenario, you'll have to check prices and the way that you will use your computer. If you are going to use the M.2 to boot your machine or if you are going to use the M.2 just for storage. So this will depend on each one of you guys. And if you need any help, just as usual, leave a comment down below and I'll try as best as I can to help you guys to decide. And moving really quickly through the benchmark so that you guys can compare with other devices. One of the things that it's really nice to see is that these mini computers are getting more powerful and more powerful. So if you look at some numbers in terms of Ethernet and Wi-Fi, great speeds. I don't need to explain, just show you some images and you know what I mean. In terms of Geekbench and Anton 2, so that you guys can compare not only with Windows machine, but also with Android devices that you guys may use to stream media and similar situations. And of course, also the disk speed test. I first tried on the flash internal storage, which you can see some really nice results and on par with the other top end machines that we have seen here on the channel. And then lastly, I also tested the M.2 SSD from Minix. And here we have more than a double of the speed that we can get from the internal SSD. So overall, it has a great performance. And when we look at the past for the first mini computers that we tested a few years ago, it doesn't have anything to do with these recent computers. Now we can compare these with the raw performance of some computers that I've got here, which cost a lot more like my wife's Mac. 
book, which is not far from this one. So it's a machine totally capable of office tasks, as we have seen in the past, Office, Word, Excel, we will not have any issues running any of these tasks. Of course, we can run a triple display, as I mentioned before, at 4K 60 Hertz, which is great. For those of you that have a display with USB Type-C uh, connectivity, like I do at the back, we can power this computer and drive image, data, and so on and so forth with one single cable, like the N42C in the past. This one is not an exception. And then, of course, for those that are looking for a media consumption device, Netflix, we will be able to stream it at 1080, both on browser and also on the app. Kodi, I did try this machine and actually it was the first mini computer with an Intel CPU that I was able to stream a 10-bit 4K H.265 movie, which is great. And then I moved also to my movie library, which is composed of 8-bit videos, H.264, 1080 Blu-ray, MKVs, and I had no issues at all streaming from my own network to this computer at 4K resolution on the display. Just a great experience. And then lastly, we can also play a few games. And guys, have in mind that we don't have a dedicated GPU here, so we are limited either game streaming with a real dedicated GPU or just playing some older games or mobile like Asphalt 8 and so on and so forth that we can uh, find on the Windows Play Store and that is it. Now guys, finally, I just want to mention a little bit here the new remote from Minix. This is called the W2 and it's targeted at Windows devices and makes the experience a lot better when we are using this machine as a media consumption device on our living room, on a room or any other division of the house. And what I would like to mention here, just a few things, is that it looks very similar to the new A2, A3 and A2 Lite, the same design, but it's targeted at Windows instead of Android. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, just show you a few images, and as soon as possible, I will create a video just talking about this remote because it's easier than making this video any longer than what I already did. But one thing that I would like to mention and that I'm really enjoying on this remote is that it has a backlight, which is great. This is the first remote with backlight from Minix, which is really nice for those of you that will be using this on the dark to watch your movies and so on and so forth. And guys, this is it. If you have any questions, as usual, leave them down below. I will do as best and as fast as I can to answer them all. My name is Roberto George. As always, don't forget that usual thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one.